Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Gaming. Games are getting longer and longer, and sometimes can take over 100 hours to 100% a game. But sometimes we get busy. Some of us have jobs. We don't always want to play a game for hours and hours on end. You know, sometimes we just want to play a game that we can finish in one day. These are some of the best games that you can finish in one day, and starting off, we have a classic. Portal and Portal 2 make it onto the list as they're both short enough to finish in one day. You play as a scientist stuck in a laboratory that has some hidden secrets and you get to test out a new invention. You have a portal gun that shoots portals and they connect together and allow you to travel between them. While it's a pretty simple concept, the puzzles that you work your way through can get really tricky and is considered one of the very best puzzle games ever. The second game builds even further on this and also has an amazing co-op campaign. According to many gamers, Titanfall 2 is considered one of the very best single player campaigns ever found in an FPS. You play as a soldier stranded behind enemy lines and you form a bond with a titan. You then embark on a quest to stop the bad guys from blowing something up and while it's a pretty simple premise, the execution and action means that the 5 hours or so of gameplay absolutely flies by. 12 minutes has you playing as just some average guy who comes home to his apartment and plans to spend the evening with his wife, however after 12 minutes you end up getting murdered by a stranger who barges into your apartment. Then suddenly you wake up as though you're entering your apartment for the first time again. It's a 12 minute time loop and it's down to you to figure out why it's happening, how to stop your own murder, and more importantly break the time loop. Even better is the fantastic performance by the voice actors. Your character is voiced by James McAvoy, your wife is voiced by Daisy Ridley, and best of all, the mysterious stranger is voiced by William Defoe. Fresh from the rumors of Hi-Fi Rush making its way to PlayStation, it's a great game to beat in a day or two, depending on how quickly you want to make your way through it. In a futuristic world, you end up becoming fused with a music player and have to take down an evil corporation through the power of music. The game was praised for its art direction and humor and has a strong soundtrack including songs from the Black Keys and Nine Inch Nails. Return of the Oberdin might not be for everyone, but for those that like a little mystery will love this game. The ship called the Oberdin has finally returned after missing for the past five years. However, the ship has returned with no surviving crew or passengers. It's up to you to figure out what happened on the ship. You figure things out using something called a memento mortem, which is a pocket watch capable of recreating a death at the moment it occurred. Uncharted is a game that really doesn't need an introduction, and all the games within the series can be beat pretty quickly. The games are some of the most cinematic around, and the iconic Nathan Drake is one of gaming's most likable characters. Each different game has a great story, and it's hard to pick which one is the best. If you haven't played this game yet, please do, because I promise it will become one of your favorites. Detroit Become Human is set in Futuristic 2038, where technology has evolved to where human-like androids are everywhere. In the Blade Runner inspired game, your decisions have consequences, so there's multiple endings. It's a great way to spend a day to see what our future might look like. Despite the game having no title, it's probably one of the funniest games out there. You play as a goose in a small English village and your only mission is to make life absolute hell for the people that live there. You cause carnage and create chaos as you check off challenges on various lists. Very similar to Detroit Become Human, Until Dawn is a spooky game that feels more like an interactive slasher than anything. You're free to control what the characters do, and you can be as evil as you want. The story follows a group of friends who are staying on Blackwood Mountain and are threatened by a somewhat supernatural force. With over 100 different endings, the short game can be replayed over and over to see how many characters you can help survive until dawn. If you have never heard of Bioshock, you might be doing something wrong. The game is the master of atmosphere and takes place in Rapture, one of the most iconic gaming locations ever. If first person games are your thing, and even if they're not, a visit to Rapture is well worth it. Stray took over the world when it came out by combining the best animal ever with an apocalyptic future full of robots. It becomes more and more emotional the further through the game you go, and it's well worth an afternoon to play through the feline themed adventure. A horror themed fishing boat inventory management game sounds like it should be terrible, but it's not. In Dredge, you can sell the fish that you catch, you can upgrade your boat, and discover the mysteries that you dredge up along the way. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this video where I go through the most anticipated games coming out this year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye now.